Hey guys, Megan here. It's video time. So the topic for it, um, this video is my hopes and fears, I guess, in my life and HLHS. Um, because someone, it was originally just fears, and then someone asked my hopes for the future. Um, I have my own personal hopes for my future, as in like, Finishing my master's, getting my dream job, kind of thing like that. Um, as for HLHS hopes, I am hoping that they find something not just to only cure it, but to help more when the baby is in the stomach. So like fetal surgery or whatever it could be. Um, I always think that stuff's really interesting. Not that... Um, just to see what the future holds is just interesting in general um, because there's so much stuff going on. I was talking to a friend who's doing a clinical trial, I think, in Mayo at Mayo. They're putting his own bone marrow stem cells or whatever in his heart on the right side to see if it'll help grow back or whatever, um, which is really cool. And so I guess my fears would be, right now I'm seeing a lot of my friends who have HLHS are needing pacemakers. So I guess that's one really fear of mine. Um, but then again, they're having slower heart rates and right now mine has always been high. So. The fact that I've also seen my friend six months ago, super happy, super hyper, like excited to do stuff, to six months later, we go to lunch and she's exhausted and she needs a pacemaker and it's just crazy how like fast it can happen, I guess. Um, so I guess my fear would be that I would be needing another surgery. Um, sometime soon or this year um, I mean I know my doctor wants to do a cath and I haven't had one in forever which I know I know now that I shouldn't have done that but um yeah my next question was do you worry about having or not being able to have children I was told I can have children um, I'm not sure on the number I know I at least want one. Um, I also have to have a C-section. Not every HLHS or SR can have children. Everyone's different. So please don't base your kid off of me because we are all different. Um, someone asked, has much research been done with stem cells? That I... At the two conferences I've been at, which was Men Do Little Hearts um, conference in Orlando in June, and then at All Children's, they did bring up stem cell research. And my friend, who I mentioned before, is also having stem cells put in to see if the other side of the heart grows. And so I believe there's a lot being done with stem cells, which I think is really interesting. I've also posted a video a long time ago, I'll have to find it again where this guy took a piece, a chunk of his skin off and grew his own beating heart with it. Um, I'll have to find that video and post it again. And then another question was, how, how any future partners or friends react to your CHD? Um, well, my friends are really cool. I mean, I have friends that I've grown up with since like first grade. And then I have friends who I met here were kind of like, oh, that's cool. Or like, I'll explain what I'm doing with the American Heart Association and stuff like that. But I don't think really people totally understand until either A, you're a parent of it or you've met somebody who has it. Um, and then as for boyfriends, I asked my current boyfriend what he thought and then I asked also my ex. Um, my ex said, I can't really say I was freaked out. 
I didn't think much of it. I was like, oh cool, she was a heart patient before and she survived. I didn't feel like I even know what HLHS was. But I freaked out the first time we had to go to the hospital because I didn't know what was going on. Which is understandable. Um, it's always crazy when you first have to go back to the hospital when you have chest pain or whatever is going on. Um, my current boyfriend has said, I was like, am I going to get to know you? And then your heart just stops. And I was like, no, that's it's totally different. It's not like that. And he said that was his first thought. And he was like nervous about it um so then I had to explain it like no this is what happens this is all this stuff that happens so that was um always interesting <laughs> um I think those are all the questions if you have any more questions please comment on this video now I'm going to do an update um I go back to the cardiologist in Florida in April. Um, they're doing a stress test on me. So I'll be doing either the treadmill or the bike. Not really sure. Not my favorite time. Um, I also know he wants to do a heart cath. I still am waiting for my second opinion from Mott about the wires issue. Um, I'm still having some pain. Comes and goes. So I guess we'll see hopefully this month what we're gonna do. I might even get a third opinion at All Children's with a different surgeon because I really did not like that surgeon at all. And he made it seem like my issue was not an issue at all. So don't be afraid to get second opinions with your kids or yourself. Sometimes it's worth it even for a third or fourth opinion. Because if you don't like the person that you're talking to or you get a weird vibe like I did with the surgeon I met All Children's, find somebody else um so yeah i hope you all had a great new year and let's make this year awesome bye guys